What's the YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back with another video, we got NBA legends and players sharing funny stories about other players. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Homies. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you need to see more bangers. For your boy, you feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, today, so we got some more interesting, interesting videos, bro. Basketball videos, NBA legend videos. So excited today, bro. Got some more bangers, bro. I saw this one request down below in the comments, bro. We get into a lot more of these videos, bro. We get into a lot of Larry Bird. We got some Kobe Bryant the other day. We get into more basketball videos, more sports videos. So keep on letting me know in the comments what videos I want to see next, bro. Y'all know the deal is. Road to 50 case, you know, the grind doesn't stop. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Turn on those post notifications because these videos can continuously be posted. And yeah, bro, I just really appreciate y'all for all the support, for all the love, bro. Y'all really been um, going crazy on the channel, staying tuned, bro, staying active, bro, staying engaged. And I really much appreciate that because I really do try my best to bring out the best content out to y'all and to get y'all the best content. So, and, and to be as consistent as consistent as I can for y'all as well. So I really appreciate y'all, you know, responding so good to me and just always being there for your boy and always showing love, mad love. And I really, really appreciate that. And I really, Hey, I, I really, I, I don't tell y'all know, but I really, I really just appreciate that so much for for. So we're going straight into this one. Um, and I got a Larry Bird video as well coming soon as well. But continue to let me know what other videos I want to see next. But y'all know all the uploads I get on my channel, I get from y'all comment recommendations. So be sure to keep on letting me know in the comment section what videos I want to see next. But let's change to this one. NBA legend and player sharing funny stories about other players. Let's get it. So there's so many funny stories about NBA legends and players that we probably never even heard it's gonna be a of. Good so one, I decided I know. to make a compilation of NBA legends and players sharing funny stories about other players. So let me know if I should make this a series or not and enjoy the video, man. Phil, now, his whole motive is to get Dennis back in shape. Everybody starts running in a line and Phil blows a whistle. Whoever's at the back, run to the front. Now, you can't stop. Whoever's in front controls the pace. So I tell everybody in that group, say, look, whoever gets in the front of that row, Slow down to a fucking walk. We're just gonna jog and jog and jog and jog. Dennis takes off. Boom. Now, he blows a whistle. Now, we cannot stop until we get back in front of Dennis. It took us four laps to catch up to Dennis. Wow. Weber brings it up wow. during game one of the doubleheader, and now... Shaq, you got the story? Now, we did that same shit. When I used to play football, we did that same shit. We had to go... Yeah, them, yeah, them shits used to be... Them used to be awesome, for real. This rookie here, uh, he wasn't getting a lot of playing time, so... You know, shoot around is a time where you go over other guys' plays and you're supposed to be focused. So, Kenny, you be, you be Dale Harris and just go over place. Okay. And I'll Trevor, turn face yeah. this way. You no, know, man. Just, okay. no, just stay there. Just give over place. So. All right, guys. You know, here he is on, on, on the double and the pick and roll. And every pick and roll, what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to double the pick and roll. And then once he <laughs> rolls to the basket, I want you to <laughs> double down from the top. We're going to double down from the top. On the other thing, <laughs> and we're gonna act. So that's what he was. So, so what was <laughs> Del Harris doing? <laughs> we all saying as you as this was going on. We all just looking like, what is this kid doing? No, that's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Full speed, sweating. That's funny as shit. That's funny as shit, with, bro. Without a ball, he was next I level remember dedicated. Him talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go on me. <laughs> like, like just bro, talking that's to That's funny as shit. Like, me, Fisher, Fox, we're all looking over like, and this is your rookie. Yeah, he's my rookie. So we we just, you know, we just let him be. Did you say anything to him? <laughs> he no, said, I didn't, I, I he said no. I didn't say anything. How long did that go on? I didn't say anything. For a couple months. <laughs> uh, so like all the moves you used to see him do on the court, like he used to practice those moves with no ball. ball, full speed. That's wow. wild. Uh, <laughs> this is all coming That's back funny to me. This is also a game in Phoenix. My first year we were playing, and uh, he kept posting up, but they kept fouling him, so he kept going to the free throw line and kept missing him. And so he throw the ball out to me. I'm not throwing that shit back in there. Right? So I kept shooting him, right? So we get in the timeout, he's like, hey, hey, uh, hey, I'm open. I'm like, okay. And so we go out, and same thing, come, hey, 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 I'm open. Okay. There you go. Come back in, hey dude, you gotta throw me the ball. I said, man, fuck that. Get it off the rebound if I miss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you told him this. Uh, First year, 18 years old, man. That's 18 wild, years old. Uh, and I must have been out of my damn mind. No, nah, for real. My year, that's uh -huh. Kobe, though. We were playing the Chicago Bulls, and this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in. Okay. And we were playing the next exhibition game in some obscure place. And most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games, they want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie, and 
we're playing this exhibition game, and Michael's going through the motion. And Chuck Person, who's on my team, who's a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan, the guy everyone's talking about, who's supposed to be able to walk on water? You're out here killing him, Rich. This is in the first half. He's like, you should be talking to him. He's like, you know, you're right, Michael. Who do you think you are? The great Michael Jordan? That's right. There's a new kid on town, right? Kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. So at half, I have 10, and he has four points, right? I'm doing all this talking. He's like, okay. End of, this, end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44, <laughs> and I ended up with 12. <laughs> so he outscored me 42. And as he's walking off, he's like, be sure and be careful, you never talk to black Jesus like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Black Jesus. I'm so sorry. The closest players I've ever been with because in Sacramento I did not want to be there. And so that story is funny as fuck. Not going to cap, bro. It's like that, story is, <laughs> that story is funny as fuck. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Black Jesus. I'm so sorry. The story is funny as fuck. Because in Sacramento I did not want to be there. And so my very first practice, you my mom is giving me scriptures. Oh, this is going to be a blessing. I'm like, Mom, please, I don't have no time for that positive stuff. She's like, oh, it's just going to be a blessing. And I remember after the first practice, I was like, hold on, I was like, you're right. Because Jay Will was just funny and appropriate. And so, you know how you make your rookies do everything? Right, right. It wasn't even fun. I'm like, Jay Will, we, we landed in New York. I'm like, man, uh, you got to get off the bus. It's snowing. Only in your tights. Yeah. Uh, go in and scream, who let the dogs out and pay for He would do whatever. And so one trip, we're coming in Boston. It's a snowstorm. We would make him do all the things, and I was like, he was like, if I do one thing, you know, wait, well, can I be off? We were like, yeah, whatever. So we get in Boston, I'm just listening to headphones, it's cold, it's freezing, and we're like, yeah, you know, what's going on? We get to the hotel, everybody's checking in, everybody's like, where's Jason? And we really can't find him, it's about maybe three, four minutes. And one of the ball boy goes, and we looked under the bus, picked up the thing under the bus, he's laying on the, uh, he's laying on the, on the luggage yeah, up on the bus. Yes, yes. And he, I mean, he's like, what are you doing? He was like, He's like, I ain't wanna ride with y'all bitches up here. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just sitting and he's just laying posing. No, that is funny. I played shit. 19 years. Oof. You come across a lot of characters. Lot of years. But you know, for me, hands down, it was Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> I mean, I, I, most I can, of the stories I can't can yes, yeah, I, I can't <laughs> repeat most of the stories. Uh, but I mean, every day I think he literally would come to practice every day thinking of how can I make everybody laugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, did, he, it, did it actually make you laugh, or, that, did, you, or did it just make you shake your head? A little bit of both. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean Shaq, 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 I remember uh, one time we get ready to play a big game against Dallas. As a matter of fact, it was, I think it was a TNT game. We need, we're fighting for playoff position. But I mean, I laugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, but did, he, it, did it actually make you laugh, or, that, did, you, or did it just make you shake your head? But this was the funniest <laughs> shit when the whole bench. <laughs> I mean, moved away yeah, when he had when he was, uh, went we to get the rip, big game the, the, the ball. As a matter of fact, it was I think it was a TNT game. We need we're fighting for playoff. These division. these stories is interesting, and I, bro. After the, the pregame meeting, you know, I go in the bathroom, I come out, and Gordon Giracek is laid out on the floor, and like the trainers are like trying to wake him up. You know, Shaq Shaq choked him out. Like, 18 minutes on the clock, we get ready to go out to play, and Shaq, like, put him in the sleeper hole because he was talking too much, and he was talking trash to Shaq. So Shaq, that's, that's one funny thing. He's not here to right defend himself, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> he was funny like, movie. You know, I, I told him to mess with me, G-Hill. I told him. I think if you ask Gordon, so, if you ask Gordon uh, uh, check right now, you're funny. <laughs> his teammate, Shaq wouldn't be the answer to the company. Hey, oh, that's was, crazy. Was, I guess it wasn't funny there. All right, Steve. Well done. I, just, you <laughs> I know, know sushi. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, sushi. <laughs> no, I, I was like Kenny. I just, you know, pasta, chicken, whatever. But I'll tell you a quick story about Tony Kukoc that when he came over to the NBA. First game of the season, I asked him if he wanted to go grab a bite to eat. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of, you know, four hours before the game. And he orders this feast. I mean, salad, appetizer, huge plate of pasta, chicken, glass of red wine, a dessert like tiramisu, and then he follows it up with an espresso. And I'm, I'm just in awe. I'm sitting there looking at him like, Tony, this is this your pregame meal? He goes, in Europe, we eat a lot, we drink a little wine, we have espresso, we go back to hotel, take beer, 
Then we go back. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Steve oh, Kerr. I gotta honestly that say, dude I did Steve. not see that story no wonder. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so I, I don't know why. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, "Oh, we have a game tonight." <laughs> So they're getting off the bus. We're done with shoot around and we're walking out and MJ says, B. Scott, what's going on? I said, what's up, MJ? He said, man, I, I hear that you're not playing tonight. I said, no, I'll spring my ankle. He said, who's guarding me? I said, Anthony Peely. He said, 50. <laughs> 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 so I told Anthony Peely, listen, um, MJ, uh, He's probably going to go for about 50 tonight on you, so just <laughs> don't, don't piss him off, you know, just be cool. He, had, he ended up with 54. <laughs> nah, that's what, so I see. Hey, kept it, like, kept kept it a buck with them, though. He told them what you know, he was going to do. The ear plugs or whatever, and they walking fast, and I'm like, that's Secret Service. Is the president here? Then I feel somebody come from behind and bow hug me. And I'm like, hold on, man, what's going on? You know, I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, I'm about to go sit down in the county or something for a little bit. But it was Kobe Bryant, man. And it was Kobe, man. He like, Perk, what's up, boy? And, and mine, I tell you, this is my first time ever having a conversation with Kobe. Oh. And he's like, man, I just want to tell you, man. Hey, man, it's all respect. And I tell people this all the time, man. You one of the best post defenders that I ever seen. Played against, and I'm like, what? Wow. I'm sitting back like, dang, Kobe gave me a compliment. Man, that's really cool. I walked up in the club like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, a word too, because he didn't have to tell him that. That's like, you know, Ketcher Perkins, he was, a, he was a dog. I remember him at OKC. I remember him playing with the Boston Celtics and shit. So he was, a, he, was a, he was a cool player type shit. So, hey, and that's really, really cool. Kobe, Kobe was a cool dude type. Dude, I was that dude. Yeah, you heard about an extra bottle yeah, for that. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, man? Cole yeah, yeah. came up to me, oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm him. Yeah, I'm him today. But you know, and then it was another situation where it goes to show you how great of a guy he was off the court to the competitive the nature great guy. he had on the court. So I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm in Oklahoma City. <laughs> I switch out on him on the pick and roll. It's five seconds. You know, we're on the defensive end, so you know I'm feeling my. Let me see it then, Cole. Right? I clapped my hands. He hit me with a boom. I stumbled in and out of about something he hit me with. Stumbled. He hit the three. <laughs> we running back down the court. He like, all right, Perk, don't make me tell that other ACL. Oh! <laughs> 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 the part that sums up Larry the best was <clears throat> back then when we flew commercial, we didn't fly private. Um, we played in a Tuesday night game in Cleveland. And, of course, we got up for the first flight out. We had a game on Wednesday night in New Jersey. <clears throat> Snowstorm hits Cleveland. We're at the airport at 7 in the morning. Flight's canceled at 7. It's canceled at 8. It's canceled at 9. It's canceled at 10. Canceled at 11. 12. We finally leave about 1.30 or 2 in the afternoon. We fly up to New Jersey. Now the storm has kind of moved into Jersey. And the bus driver says, well, I can't get to the, air I can't get to the hotel into the arena. I can only go to one place. Well, we had a game that night. We go to the arena. So we get to the arena, and I mean, we're dragging, and we're sitting around the locker room, and you know, and everybody's kind of, you know, we're tired, and you know, and, and all of a sudden, you know, the coach gives a little bit of a speech of, "Come on, man, guys, we're playing basketball. Let's get ready to go." And Larry stands up, and Larry says, and a couple of the few few choice words, <laughs> and he says, "I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna take it out on their rear ends." So I was like, "Oh, all right, so let's go." So we go on the floor. Elbert King sitting there, and Larry walks up to Elbert King and goes, "Don't take this butt whooping personally." I've been eating hot dogs all day. And then Albert King looks at him like, you've been eating hot dogs all day? What's that got to do with me? <laughs> and we went out and just hammered him. I mean, we, we, we terrorized him. And that was Larry. There was no excuses. I mean, he just played. And I tell you, that was just his competitive nature. But a day when you fly all day and eat hot dogs in the airport, best thing was Albert's look on his face like, what hot dogs got to do with me? <laughs> you guys used to fly commercial? <laughs> yeah. That's, yes, we that's, did. The I never knew that's the take. Are you serious? Sure, I never knew it. I was uh, getting ready to start a game and get up to the jump ball, and, and, and Larry said, you know, just, just out of the blue, he goes, go ahead, Kevin, tell Elvin Hayes what you told me. And I didn't tell him anything. And I said, well, go ahead and tell him. Like, you said you were going to kick his ass. And I'm like, oh, man. And Elvin Hayes is looking at me. <laughs> Well, at that point, it was hard to say, no, I didn't say anything. I said, oh, I guess so. But, you know, Larry just got stuff started. The rookie, uh, he came in. <laughs> he walked by our bench at the Salt Palace and said, I feel like 43 tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
he came out, he scored 43 in the third quarter and checked, checked himself out with a 20-point victory, and uh, I was fairly impressed with that one. Yeah. So he just picks a random number, I feel like, hmm, 43. And he says it yeah. to, the, to, you, uh, to the bench? Yeah, yeah. Bird didn't talk trash to you. Oh, just my God. To the Bird Stockton is crazy. <laughs> To the jazz and stock, but didn't he? Did, as didn't a he get to a point where he I, had I, respect I, I, for him? I, I, I always tell this people this story about Larry Bird. I remember him; he was cursing under his breath, and I asked him, I said, "Larry, what's going on with you?" He says, "You guys are being disrespectful." You guys are being disrespectful. And I says, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> he says, "You guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> that's disrespectful." Wait, who's the white guy I, you put I, on I, it? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says. There's nothing you can say to that shit. When y'all put a There's nothing you can say to that shit, bro. And I'm sitting that there like, funny I'm laughing boy. in the middle of a game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me your favorite story. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love. Now those are really good. Game. And I'm out. Those are really good. Shout out to Young Gala, bro. Those are really good. No cap. Uh, that's the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. More videos dropping very, very soon. Just make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel. And I got show more of these, bro. But again, appreciate y'all so much. Uh, for uh, for uh, everything, all the love, all the support, and again, like I said, just keep on letting me know what you guys want me to react to next. Uh, man, yeah, you know the deal is road to 50k, so you know the grind doesn't stop. So be sure to turn on those post notifications um, because these videos are continuously be posted. And yeah, let me know what y'all want me to react to next. And yeah, this is a good one, bro. Thank y'all for the suggestion. A lot more basketball videos, a lot more NBA legend videos coming very very soon. So be sure to stay tuned. But yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you can see more videos. It's your boy King Supreme. I'll see y'all next. Uh. I'll see y'all soon, homies.